Hey guys, welcome back to Styling Sessions with Layla and today we're going to be talking all things autumn winter. So if you want to hear about my favourite fall fashion trends, please keep on watching. Now, fall has to be one of my favourite seasons for fashion. Whether it's its rich tones or dark hues, fall just hits different. I don't know what it is. So for our first trend, we've got red. Now, when I say red, I mean anything and everything. Whether it's bags, shoes, coats, jumpers, hats, I feel like red has been everywhere and anywhere, on the runway and also in street style. I myself have already bought into this trend. I actually picked myself up a pair of Adidas Spezials the other day. And when I say I'm obsessed, like, I am obsessed. They're the perfect, bright, rich red that just make any outfit really stand out. Now another pair of shoes that I've actually seen circulating at the moment are the Mango Kitten Heels. They're definitely more of like a corally red as opposed to a deep rich red. And they've definitely taken inspiration from Miu Miu's latest collection as they came out with kind of like a deep cherry red kitten and high heel. They're just so beautiful. So if I can save up enough for them, I'll definitely be investing in those. And then the next trend I'm gonna be talking about has to be biker boots. I definitely saw them coming in last season, but now they are here to stay for 2023. And I've seen so many dupes of them, especially coming out online quite recently. Places like Ego have got them, Steve Madden, H&M, ASOS, you want it, they've got it. And I feel like these are actually quite a versatile boot. I've seen these being worn with jorts. I've seen these being worn with little kind of like midi dresses, slip dresses even maxi dresses. So if there's a pair of shoes that you're gonna invest in this season, it has to be these. Then another trend I'm loving at the moment has to be exaggerated silhouettes. We're talking oversized trenches, coats, jeans, trousers, jumpers, oversized everything. I've also seen this really beautiful scarf coat from a company called Helsa, which has to be the perfect example of an exaggerated silhouette, but done in a classy and elegant way. Now, moving on swiftly to my next trend, which has to be kitten heels. I feel like these actually work perfectly with the oversized kind of like baggy jean. Just when you can see like the kitten heels poking through, that has to be chef's kiss. Seems to be the more vintage heels that everyone's loving at the moment. And I actually find it quite nice to purchase something that you know nobody else is gonna have. It's not like we're all gonna be rocking the same pair of kitten heels like everyone that was rocking that Molly Mae Zara viral kind of like leather jacket last year. Then of course, how could we forget leather? Now I feel like no full capsule wardrobe is complete without a leather jacket or a leather pair of trousers, leather bag. And I feel like high street and commercial brands are actually doing this trend really, really well at the moment. Zara and Mango have to be my top performers on this trend. I feel like everything on their websites is really giving expensive. And I find, especially with leather, it's so easy to look cheap. So if you're looking for a really good high street leather piece, definitely check out Mango or Zara. Now, following on from that, no outfit is complete without a bag. And this season, I am loving squishy bags. I've seen so many brands do this so well from Coz to Chanel to Bottega. And at the start, I was definitely a bit unsure about this trend, but I feel like as we get deeper and deeper into autumn winter, I need a squishy bag in my life. And I feel like the practicality mixed with the street style element to this trend really gives it longevity. And last, but by no means least, we have the romantic goth trends, which is surprisingly becoming one of my faves. Think lace corsetry, leathery waistcoats, heavy belting and of course jewellery with crosses. I feel like obviously one of the bigger brands that's been doing this really well at the moment is obviously Dolce & Gabbana. I definitely became obsessed with this trend after Kim K did their collaboration with them earlier on this year for Fashion Week. And ever since I've just been feeding little bits here and there into my everyday wardrobe, I actually decided to invest in a leather waistcoat the other day because I saw one of my favorite influencers on Instagram, Hoskella, wear a leather waistcoat to the Ralph Lauren show last week. And she just styled it so beautifully. It was the perfect mix between feminine and masculine dressing. And I feel like I'm definitely gonna be using that for inspo when I'm styling my own waistcoat. So guys, that was a roundup of my favorite fall fashion trends in 2023. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!